Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Um, Invincible. We're starting that today. I know it's very weird because we just like got rid of Bleach on the channel, and then we started Daredevil, and now we're starting another show. So we just kind of like added a show. But this is going to be a very short series because it's only going to be eight episodes long. Um, I think there's five episodes out right now, and I know nothing about it. The only thing I do know is Stephen Yun plays um, the main character as well as J.K. Simmons, I think, plays another main character. Um, I don't know which one's the more main character. Right now, it looks like J.K. Simmons is in the thumbnail um, of the series, but I don't know. I don't know what to expect. I know a lot of people are talking about this right now. A new superhero anime kind of show. I guess it's not an anime show, just a comic. It's a comic adaptation um, into, like, a cartoon. So, I don't know. I know these episodes are an hour long each, so we got eight hours of content here. Yeah, we're going to be putting these out. I'm going to try to catch up to the um, new episode, so it's not going to be once a week. I think I'm going to try to just binge this a little bit so that I catch it up to the actual releases of the next three episodes. Um, but we got something. Okay, on, on April 23rd, we got the finale of Falcon and the Winter Soldier. And then we also got Mortal Kombat, the movie, coming out. And then we got an Invincible episode coming out. So if I'm already caught up by then, then I'm going to have so much content on April 23rd or all the way to the 24th. Mortal Kombat will probably be delayed by a day um, after it comes out because of the editing and all that. But um, yeah, lots of things coming out on that specific day. So get ready for lots of content. But anyways, a new series here on the channel and I'm excited. I, I, I mean, I have no idea what to expect. I just know a lot of people talking about it, so it must be really good. I love superheroes, of course. And yeah, let's just hop right into it and before we do get started i do want to say um we are only i think 20 subscribers or 25 subscribers away from a thousand on the channel so thank you guys so much definitely we'll hit it by thursday once um or thursday night friday morning once falcon and winter soldier come out uh but yeah thank you guys so much for all the support on the channel really appreciate it and let's get into this episode okay the first episode is called it's about time so i don't know well, what I'm going into, knowing it's a superhero movie, and they have a title like that, it's about time. I'm guessing he has a time traveling power or something. For sure. Someone can manipulate time, maybe. Sucks to be you. <laughs> <laughs> the way he delivered that line. Sucks to be you. So what do these guys do? They like. I thought you two hated each other with the burning. Did it feed superheroes or something? Or... Why don't I just make some hot cocoa to cheer up my sweet? You hot cocoa? Yeah. Uh oh. Superhero evasion training. You better, um. Get ready to evade. The Underminer. Oh. Who this? Thanos. Oh, double Thanos. Come on. <laughs> Doesn't hurt them at all, jeez. Actually invincible. What are they doing? They're trying to defeat the president? Uh oh. <laughs> oh. It worked in his eye. <laughs> it just blocks it. They both don't trust each other on who's the original, not the clone. Oh, who? Oh, oh! Look at that dude. He's he posing. Batman. <laughs> the Flash. Red Rush. Oh my gosh! Okay, let me write these guys down. Red Rush. That's kind of a cool name, honestly. War Woman. This is totally making fun of superhero movies. I could already see it. <laughs> Who is this supposed to be? Like Martian Manhunter or something? Invisibility. Don't move. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh no. Sorry, I, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I just got a fish. 
Oh, here comes... What's his name gonna be? <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. That is a hard throw. This dude is just Batman on a hoverboard. Oh. So you're just gonna take it? Don't kill Batman right away. Oh. J.K. Simmons. <laughs> so is this guy gonna be like Superman? The Guardians of the Globe. Oh. He had to choose. They all fly around, which is kinda cool. Oh. They're like fighting over save two. Whoa, that guy's kind of cool. Evacuation complete. Now we can cut loose and focus on taking these brutes down. What is that? Is that the dude's hair? Or is it like cape? Oh. Huh. She can phase them into the objects. Oh. Aquaman. <laughs> She's kind of overkilled. Oh, it's just a comic book. On. What? Only he could be like them. Going on down there, I haven't seen before. Just get. Uh, it's a little different. <laughs> uh, okay. Smaller twins. Oh, they rebuild that thing twice a year at this point. They rebuild it. The lizard league. I'm not too late. I'm gonna shower. <laughs> I'm gonna shower. I don't know why it's funny. Okay, so he knows his, he's going to have powers one day. Even the latest bloomers on Viltrum would get their powers before what would be their 18th birthday. Ah, okay. Don't get his hopes up. That's kind of weird. Is everybody? No, I mean, no, not everybody gets powers. I know what his is going to be. Time manipulation. Or it's just, it's about time because it's about time he gets his powers. <laughs> So sad. Who's Omni Man? His dad. Yeah, it is. Omni Man. His voice sounds very familiar. Not like the, the kid he's talking to over there. What you a lesbian or something? I wish. Would you leave me alone then? Told me so I can go find a girl to kiss. Oh, oh my gosh. Burger. Oh, I thought it said burger meat. Burger mart. Oh, those are whole body bags. B -b 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 body bags. <laughs> I'm still laughing over War Woman or whatever her name was. I feel like that girl that just beat up the bully could, like, her parent could be War Woman. So that kid, um. Oh, wait, that was the main character. He looked different in the costume. I was like. I was like, okay, he got super strength, this Mark guy. That's the main kid, though. Okay. I was like, what? Mark Grayson, right? Interesting day. He's got super speed, too. So, he, yeah, this dude is just insane. I stopped it. Mark was getting ready to. So casual. Guess who's finally getting his powers? Ooh. Are you sure? Pretty sure. Through a trash bag into space. <laughs> into space. Oh, that's great, son. Just great. wait. Whoa, why does you're up for it? I'll make some time tomorrow for training. This is so exciting. You not want him to? Early tomorrow, Mark. Make sure you get a good night's sleep. Oh, you know what I'm thinking? He doesn't want to get replaced. He doesn't want anyone to be as strong as himself, Omni Man. Deep space. All right. Is the planet Viltrum? Yeah. That's what he mentioned. Cool blue oasis alone in a solar system much like our own. I know this <laughs> That is a lot. Okay. Biltramites. Half Biltramite, son. <clears throat> getting older. Things are going to start to change for you in a few years as you hit puberty. That's epic. I'm going to be able to fly. Mhm. Mm You're going to be able to fly. That's cool. Okay. Ultramites are pretty epic. 
Oh, he's doing it. Huh. Whoa. Well, he's just, whoa, okay. His powers definitely all kicked in. Can they breathe in space? Well, yeah, they have to be able to breathe in space. Or they're just super speed through space to a different solar system. Oh, I thought the plane was coming down. He was going to save it. I was like, whoa, what a weird coincidence. What, is he lost in space? No, okay. Yeah, you can't breathe up there, my dude. Uh oh. He probably has super strength though, right? He'll survive this fall. Ooh. Alarm fly time with dad. <laughs> so where did all the other superheroes come from? Because if there's one soul protector of Earth and it's him, I wonder where the other ones came from. Maybe there's... They're not all Viltramites or whatever. This is cool. I've never, we've never like seen a superhero try to learn to fly, except for like in Shazam, but that doesn't really count that much. He's like floating around like weirdly. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, he's really good at doing that. Being a human torpedo. Okay, I guess that still counts as a landing. This little. That's not good. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's cool. So when you're flying, you can. You have so much more force with punching. Ooh. What? I know, son. I didn't. I didn't mean to hit you so hard. Jeez. Oh my gosh. What is he doing? That was a little weird. Why, why are you punching his kid? Maybe he, his dad did that to him when he was training as a kid. Questioning me? What the hell has gotten into? <laughs> yeah, what? Why is he so angry? I don't know. I'm sorry. Mark got his powers so late. I wasn't prepared for this. Yeah, he doesn't want to be the. Help but think. Maybe our lives would be better if he hadn't gotten them at all. What? He's acting very weird, the, the dad. So what? Oh no, he's going to be pushed too far. Are you threatening me? Or do you need a replay of what happened last time, ass? Hit me. <laughs> Hit me. Uh-oh. It's going to like break his own arm. Oh, what? Again. Oh, he wants to take it. Oh, he's developing. And stronger. Freak. <laughs> Freak. Is this him? Gunfire. Yeah. Gunfire go. There. Oh, who is this? Oh, he sounds cool. Dude, his costume. I like. I like Mark's costume. <laughs> Captain Guy with the whole punch to really roll off. Captain Guy? Wait a second. Did he just say Captain Guy? I'm going back. <laughs> Captain Guy with the whole punch to him. Okay, I thought he was saying his name was Captain Guy. I was like, that's so dumb. I'm guessing his name is just going to be Invincible, right? Oh. Oh, he doesn't have rocks over him anymore. Huh. What about Ass Kicker? <laughs> No, he looks cool. I like his costume, honestly. I like the color palette, at least. Oh. Do it. I wasn't ready before. Now I am. I can take it. Please just hit me. Please hit me. I can do this. Oh man. It's all I ever wanted for as long as I can remember. Oh. Touching moment. Oh, he's gonna help him design his costume? Well, I don't, oh, I don't like that one that much, though. Orange and yellow, that was the color of your other costume. He's just missing the blue. Wasn't that the same exact color? I like the goggles. They'd keep the wind out of my eyes when I fly. One wants. 
Iconic. Yes. Something kids will draw on the margins of their notebooks while they daydream about being as cool as you. Mm -hmm. It's also tough as hell to pull off. Uh oh, did he just land? <laughs> uh oh, wait, is it him? Yeah, it is. It just lands like that. There's two, three other holes. Does that make you feel strong? Don't talk to, to her like that. Yeah, it, he has been waiting his whole life for this. It's kind of like getting a new game and you just want to stay up all night playing it, so he's just staying up all night practicing his powers. Nothing special. Oh. Or you will be. Knife to the heart with this one. Every day run of the mill mom. I love my asshole son. Wow, what a family. What a wacky family. Are they playing? Wait a second, I just noticed. <laughs> Throwing it across the world. <laughs> wow, that's creative. Oh. oh my gosh, you're gonna kill people with that. Son, kids your age think they're invincible and it holds them back, makes them careless. The thing is, you're different. You actually are invincible. invincible. Oh, he got his name. Oh, I like it. I like it. Yeah, that is way cooler. I, I still like this little bandana and everything. I thought it looked pretty cool. This is a lot more iconic though. You got this, the birds, the doves flying by. This is so cool. After watching Man of Steel recently, this is just like the Man of Steel sequence when he's like learning the, about his powers and how to fly. Yo. Excuse me? Better go do your first first superhero save. Oh my gosh, laser eyes. Oh, oh this dude He's got laser arms or something. <laughs> Why are they unloading on him? Uh oh. His first big super villain he has to deal with. Oh. oh my gosh, punch him through a building. Dude, superheroes like this though always cause so much extra damage. Yeah, look, it's just destroying buildings. You might as well give up. I'm invincible. Wow. I just mean he is if a I fish person. Maybe be nicer to him. Okay, it's not over. Wait. What's happening, Electro? What is this? Oh, my best. <laughs> Joseph, you promised. <laughs> he just runs away, saves the day, and then comes back instantly. How I do. My perception is just as fast as I am. The briefest conversation with anyone seems like hours to me. It's agony. <laughs> the red rush. I like how he's a Russian too. It's a gift. Your voice is like music. How do these people get their powers though? That's what I'm wondering. <laughs> Wait, I just noticed. I literally just noticed. I thought this was like an after credit scene. I literally thought this was an after credit scene. <laughs> because when he said his name, Invincible, and the credits started rolling, that's just a meme. Just like with anything else. Some sort of suicide squad. Dude. <laughs> Once you say the name of the title. Okay, you guys all get it. I just didn't. Oh my gosh, a Walking Dead cast member right there. They have so many Walking Dead people in this. I love how they rolled the credits right there. Ah, I make that joke so much. I always say when they say the title, roll credits, and then they actually rolled the credits on me and I got confused. Why does everybody fly? These guys must all be, um, whatever they're called. What are they called? Bilmites. What's that, Vulture? Oh, here we are, fish. Aquaman Atlantis lad. <laughs> the Guardians of the Globe. Don't wait for me. They're all coming. I'm not worried about the shareholders here. I want a spectacular year for the world. Don't you do enough for the world? None of us do. 
That's sick. She can just teleport her costume to her. It seemed like Red Rush could have done that, but he, um, I'm pretty sure he just ran away, got dressed, and then came back. What the heck is that? Well, oh, it's this dude. Are you okay? I am fine. What does he do? Like turn into oatmeal or something? Why is it all all the guardians are getting a global threat? I see you live there. What the heck? Oh, is this the green person? Oh yeah. Yeah, they're supposed to make you think the other person was the green person because they were wearing green. Is he blowing up a water tower on them? Oh. Uh-oh. What are those? Oh, that's kind of sick. That's a super cool ability. Or just like, invention. Gadget. Alright, he can't fly. Wing jet. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> oh, I love all these superheroes. So, like, uncreative, but like, creative at the same time. They all in his cave. Did I write down Darkwing already? Wait, he called him. Wait. Darkwing. It's like the Darkwing cave. Well, oh. Oh, what, what is he doing? He does want to be the only protector. Wait, what? Why is he doing this though? Come on. He's not gonna kill his kid though, right? This is literally the super, the Superman like going evil story being told right here. Oh, he's gonna kill all of them. Uh oh. He doesn't have. Oh. Yo, why is he doing this? He just killed Red... <laughs> My boy Red Rush. <laughs> but... Oh, why is there so much blood too? I was not expecting... I thought there was a cartoon. There was like little drops earlier. Yo, uh... <laughs> why is this like a... Oh. No, I don't think so. Oh, I thought she died. Okay, so he just killed two of them so far. Oh, ow. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. He has a weapon. Dude. No. Uh-uh. Why is this like an old YouTube video where, like, they just put so much blood in, like, stick figure combat or something? <laughs> that just reminds me of that. Yo, I was not expecting this. What? That's why everyone's talking about this show. It is so different than how it started. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, dude, I want to see this in live action. Maybe I should watch The Boys. I hear people talking about that. Whoa. Just introduced every superhero. I wrote them all down and they died instantly. My gosh, that is gruesome. That is awful. He wants to be the only protector of Earth. Starring Steve. Yeah. Oh. What? I didn't even. I've never watched a trailer for this. I've never. What's the rating? Oh, it's 18 plus adults. Oh my. Okay. Okay. Wow. 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 Um. So that just happened. <laughs> that just happened. They were not invincible. I will say that. They were definitely not invincible. I was not expecting that at all. What the heck, dude? Okay. So for the notes I took, 
which most of these don't even matter anymore because all these characters are dead. There was the Mauler twins. Okay, I will say this episode started off... Oh, before I start to say even anything about the episode, the art style, I loved it. I loved the colors, all that, and very great. The um, Cage the Elephant soundtrack, the, the whole soundtrack of everything, very good. I'm liking the story. It intrigues you right away. This kid's about to get powers, and he's really excited about it, so it makes me excited about it. And seeing him excited about it is exciting. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> that ending, dude. <laughs> What is this going to be about? Him just trying to fight his dad now? I don't know. What? Wow, okay. That was still a crazy ending, dude. Definitely was not expecting anything like that at all. I thought this was going to be kid-friendly. Like, Star Wars The Clone Wars cartoon. Dude, I don't even know. Okay. So the things I wrote down. The Mauler twins. I wrote down there was one that's a clone. They were fighting each other over who... Who was the real one so i guess there's clones of things out there so yeah it kind of just started off hmm, the show started off a little weak i'm not gonna lie like i was like there's like these two security guards talking i don't even know if i want to put that part in but it was like i was just like what are they even talking about what is going on and then the, the, the justice league comes out it all felt like super like i've seen this all before like whatever they were trying to pull off here like it's very familiar you've seen all these superheroes, all these powers, basically, before this has all happened. Um, Nothing is really unique about the show. And then it gets violent at the end. <laughs> it was it was like a spin on unfamiliar superhero ideas. Like, all these superheroes, you already know who they are, basically. You don't need origin stories for all these people. You know who they are, or who they're at least, like, playing off of. Except with, like, a little bit of a more mature kind of tone to the show kind of um like a little more language i guess um that's what was happening basically with the show but it felt all very familiar like you've seen this all before and robert kirkman is not creative at all but then oh my gosh then <laughs> then it gets violent and then yeah okay so i see how this show is going to go from now on it's not just going to be the tropes that you've already seen Maybe it will be. Maybe it will be. Maybe this whole universe is designed around funny tropes. It's going to be more of a comedy, a bit of violent comedy, like very violent, because that was some extreme violence at the end. But yeah, I just wanted to say the beginning was pretty weak. The, the rest, like the middle, um, the middle was fine. I liked it a lot. I like getting to know the characters, the family that were going to be watching this whole, this whole uh, series. And I felt a connection to the main character, at least the kid, um, and their relationship, his relationship with his father, and both of them becoming superheroes. And the third half, or not even the third half, just the ending, the last two or three minutes of this, oh my gosh, that was insane. I hope the rest of the show is like that. I don't know, I don't even know if those people matter, because they died, I'm pretty sure. I wrote down Red Rush. There's Omni-Man, of course. He just <laughs> demolished everyone at the end. His real name is Nolan Grayson. His son is Mark Grayson, who is now invincible. Um, there's the Guardians of the Globe. The, not anymore. There's no Guardians of the Globe. Not anymore. Um, but yeah, Nolan came from, or Omni-Man came from, Viltrum, which was a cool blue oasis galaxy very far away. Um, and they turn a certain age. They get powers at a certain age. And then... At another certain age, they also go off and defend planets as their sole protectors. But this planet had multiple protectors. The Guardians of the Globe were here. And uh, I guess he's a little jealous. So I don't know why all of a sudden he's jealous and why he just decided to kill them right now <laughs> and not earlier. But um, they're dead now. So yeah, so they can, uh, Viltrumites can fly and move at super speed. And possess great strength and when they become a certain age yeah they eventually protect the planet i wrote all that down i wrote down dark wing at the end there i don't know if we got a name for the fish but oh my gosh okay they're all dead so it doesn't even matter i didn't know they were going to introduce that many characters in the first episode i thought they were this was going to be like some justice league show kind of like like when they were introducing all the characters i was like yeah this is just like a superhero a big superhero team up type show um 
don't know why everyone's talking about it, but maybe it gets really good in the later episodes or something. Or people are just talking about it because it's a really cool cartoon. Um, but no, it did a complete 180 on me. Surprised me a ton. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing what comes next. I'm definitely going to watch the next episode like today or tomorrow. So look forward to that. Um, that was so gruesome at the end. That was so brutal. That literally, that just reminded me so much of like, because you don't really see blood like that. So much gore and stuff in a cartoon. Um, like a 2D thing. Maybe like you could say Attack on Titan, but this was like bright blood and it was like eyeballs popping out and a bunch of stuff. And even Attack on Titan censors their stuff a little bit. But um, compared to the manga at least. But definitely was not expecting that. Definitely reminded me of a like some old YouTube series that I used to watch. Like stick figures battling each other and then just like guts everywhere. I don't know. Very weird. <laughs> that was cool though. Okay. This was an, has been an hour long so far. So I'm just going to go ahead and end it. Edit it. Make a thumbnail. Post it for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'm looking forward to the next episode. And if you want to watch JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Star Wars The Clone Wars. We got Falcon and Winter Soldier. We got Marvel's Daredevil. We have, what else do we have? We're watching other things too. We got Jujutsu Kaisen. Um, if you're looking forward to watching any of those, you want to see my reactions, they are on the channel and I'm posting them weekly. So thank you guys for sticking around. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel. We are almost at a thousand subscribers and I will see you guys in the next video.